Hi, my name's John. Welcome to yet another Sunday night nightcap. It's absolutely amazing how the, the weeks are flying by. Anyway, tonight's nightcap, it's nearly all lathe work. Um, I'm machining aluminium pulley for one of my viewers. A uh, three-step aluminium pulley. Uh, quite an interesting job because I have to make a mandrel and mount it on the mandrel so I can machine both sides of it. A uh, little bit of drilling and tapping work on it as well. I show quite a lot of that. I also start to repair uh, a drilling machine spindle. It's got damaged threads and a damaged taper. I uh, machine it away and start to weld it up. But unfortunately, I run out of organ, so that job's curtailed till next week, till I get some more organ. I went to a boot sale this afternoon, bought one or two items, I'll show them. There's some of your mail coming this week, uh, quite a lot of your mail, I'll show that. I mentioned when I first got the horizontal mill machine that I had no horizontal cutters. Well, I've certainly got plenty now, thanks to the kindness and generosity of me viewers. There's a lad called Mike Smith, Smithy off Mad Modders. He posted a box of cutters to us. And I also got a large collection of cutters from a lad called Gary C. Anyway, lads, thanks very much. I've certainly got plenty of cutters now to be getting on with. A massive thanks to anybody that's bought a T-shirt, uh, Teespring, relaunched the, the campaign as I had quite a few orders. Uh, once again, thanks very much for that. It's all going to help towards towards run my shop. And of course, I do really want to get to America next year for the bash. The second part of last week's nightcap was all about a gentleman called Stanley Challenger Graham. Uh, Stanley's a lad that built the engine for my wife Deb and for Mick's girlfriend Sarah. Um, I took some general video of his shop and Stanley is an absolute natural in front of a camera. He's got a great voice, a great accent. And he's got some fantastic stories to tell. Uh, he has wrote a few books actually. It's well worth going on to his website and having a look. Uh, I'll put a link to his website in the little description box at the bottom of this video. Uh, it's worth going and having a look. His books are well worth a read. And Stanley is keen for me to go back and do some more video. And I am as well. I think people like Stanley should be recorded on video. People can go back and he has to come. He's still going to be there. I've got an aluminium pulley to make, uh, it's a three step pulley. I've got a suitable piece of bar here, I can get, definitely get it out of that. I put the outside jaws in the three jaw chuck. It's the first time I've used these, so I don't know how accurate it'll be. Fairly decent. Right, so all I need to do is face that end. One thing I don't like about aluminium is you get these horrible springy bastard things. I've turned it round in the chuck. I'm going to face this end. It 
doesn't matter about the centre because it's going to have a it's going to have a hole bone in anyway. Right, the finished length is 32. I'll just put a mark on it. Make that mark to 36, I've got plenty to play with. Its finished amp that is 85.5. It's a hundred mil bar. So one fifteen mil of it. It's actually through the chip very nicely. Right, the centre of the largest groove is 18 from that face so I'm going to put a mark at 18 and I'm going to put that groove in because that's where the bolt goes through it secures the pulley onto the shaft I'm going to use that to secure the pulley onto the arbor so I can machine it okay, so I'm going to put 18 I'll just use the day I wrote to measure the 18 or right on the end there That's 18. As always, we'll measure, measure twice and cut once. It is 18. I'm going to use the parting tool just to start the groove off. So the parting tool square onto the, the face of the job, which it is there. You need to go down for a depth of 6.6mm. .6 right in the centre of there. Just using the parting tool, the machine to taper on the pulley. The pulley is 36 degrees, which is 18 degrees aside. Just take a nice light cut to the the parking tool doesn't bend. Right, I set the comp on side at 18 degrees the other way. It's 18 degrees the other way. 18 is 36, or at least they were when I went to school. Just using the parking tool, the machine to taper on the pulley. The pulley is 36 degrees, which is 18 degrees aside. Just take a nice light cut so the, the parking tool doesn't bend. Right, the next stage this time like here is turned down to 35. Right, we're getting near now. We point four off that. It's a point two cut. Just touch it off. It's there. Point two. I have to take it out with dead size.
Mate, that's 35, which would be 1.5, which it is. Right, I've picked up the centre of the first pulley. That needs to go down to a depth of 6. It's a slightly shallower angle on this, so I have to reset the compound slide before I cut the two sides of the groove. To be able to work the compound slide, to cut the angle, I've had to take the hand wheel off the cross slide. Once that's so it gives you a chance to see the sort of quality you're dealing with on a Harrison layers like this. Right, the next job is to put my 14mm hole through there. I haven't got a 14mm reamer, so I'll have to drill it and bore it very carefully. Centre drill first. Finish drill and then bore it from there. And I've got a nice little boring bar, set up on centre. We're going to take a, a very light cut through under power. I don't make this hole too big. Got a nice finish in there. Very near. There's a little bit of heat in the pulley, but not much. Right, this should just about go now. Right, that is now absolutely the dog's bollocks. A real good fit in there.
very very little movement so now I can part this off to length and there's a drill hole goes so there, drill hole with a big grub screw in and that holds the pulley onto the shaft I don't think I'll be able to part all of it off but I'll get a lot of it through and just finish off with a hacksaw Get the pressure on all the same. We can start putting it in stop. Just going to speed it up a little bit. Not that much. Just give the wall inside near the little near the aluminium actually stuck to the end of the cutter. Right. So you see that's not not really a bad finish on there. I have left a little bit of whisper off it 